Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm April Honey, and today we're going to be working with this uh, awkwardly shaped transition area. We're going to be making a little duck pond here. I started this build on stream and I thought it would be fun to go ahead and show you guys how it turned out. Did just do a speed build for those of you who weren't able to make it to stream and you know, just finish it off. Let's get started. So of course, because it's going to be a duck pond, we're going to need some water going on over here, right? And I just wanted it to be a little bit natural, something really small. I did put out a poll to see what we should build here because I was thinking duck pond, but I was also thinking something else, maybe wheat field or something like that. And I couldn't quite decide, but duck, duck ponds felt very spring-like. This island is turning more and more spring core by the day, but it wasn't intentionally supposed to be spring core. It's my forever island, so it doesn't really have a theme. I had an idea for like, you know, a foresty kind of farm core. I wanted it to be green with a lot of trees and things like that. Um, I wanted it to feel very relaxing. I definitely wanted it to feel kind of like me because I am going to be playing on this island myself personally all the time. I do have plans to complete all of the Nook Miles goals and also to get every single villager in the game's photo on this island. I know, that's like a heck of a task. And I'll just update the custom codes and things as the seasons change, but for the most part, I do think it'll maybe stay the same. If I ever redecorate it, you'll find out. But for right now, I do think it's gonna stay the same for quite a while because I do have other islands going on and other, you know, other things I can work on. But I do want this one to feel like finished and homey and all of those things. So of course it wouldn't be a duck pond without a little mini seating area right here. So of course we had to do that. We put the little bean tossing kit out for people to feed the birds because, I don't know, because it's cute. That's pretty much it, just because it's cute. And then I thought, of course, when I go to the park to feed uh, the ducks, I put out um, bread or I take bread with me. So that just seemed like a good idea. Of course, we're gonna be adding buckets and, and ducks because it's a duck pond. So we do have to put all of the ducks out. I love the toy ducks. I know there are people who are like, either go with the decoy ducks or the toy ducks. I'm pretty much a fan of both. So I figured I would just incorporate both on my own island because it doesn't have to like be perfect or have a theme. This is the one island where I'm giving my myself a lot of leeway to do things that I wouldn't normally do on another island so normally I wouldn't I would only use one kind of duck and I wouldn't use both kinds on this island I kind of want to use both I love them both so I want to use them both um, on other islands there are colors that I don't necessarily use all the time but I'm loving the yellow and the white so I kind of want to keep that you know, it's just a lot of me kind of doing whatever I think is going to be great, good for me at the time. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm doing here. I realized I downloaded two of the wrong pieces of this path or I changed it out and didn't bother to change out two pieces. So I had to go hunting down the custom code that I saved this under. I have 30 creator codes, you guys. It's a little bit ridiculous and kind of embarrassing, but I have a lot of creator codes and I wanted, I went to try and find the creator code for the path that I'm using and I ended up having to go through like a lot, probably more than I care to admit. It was definitely a lot though. Um, but we did find it and I was able to continue working with this path. I don't think I need to make another dirt path like ever again in my entire life because I do think I have so many that I probably have one for everything. And I'm gonna say that now and I'm probably gonna come across an island that I'm going to make and it's not going to have a dirt path associated with it and then I'll have to make one watch. Um, because that's the nature of the beast, right? 
So now we are talking to future me who we let it go for a little while. I went and got Roscoe. Basically, someone had Roscoe up for adoption in the community and no one was adopting him. And we all kind of felt bad. So we set aside the builds and went to go try to kick a villager out, which took an hour. It took an hour to get a villager off my island. And then I didn't even get him off like the legit way. I kind of magicked him off um, for the sake of ending the stream because we were like four and a half hours in and I was getting tired. So we magicked a villager off. I did move this this um, island back to a vanilla switch after that because I realized how easy it is to use the, the spicy software if I have access to it. So we ended up moving this island back to like a normal switch. Anyways, that being said, we spent forever trying to kick a villager off the island and I thought it was going to be an easy thing to do. I was wrong, but we did end up finding, getting Roscoe and inviting him to the island. So now he is a member of the island. I'm not sure when I get his photo if I'm going to want to get rid of him after everything I went through to be able to adopt him. So we'll see how I feel after I get his photo. He is a sweetheart. I love Roscoe. I know he's very, he's either hit or miss and I know people either love him or they're terrified of him. I personally love him. I think he's just the sweetest little horse and... I don't know. I, I love a good cranky, right? The cranky's personalities are just the best. They're so cute. So he might have a permanent home here. I have no idea. I know aesthetically he's probably not the cutest villager that ever existed, but I'm also okay with that. Like they don't always have to be the cutest, right? They just have to have that certain something about them that you love. And that is good enough and it's perfect. So we're just putting some finishing touches over here, just adding some wheat fields and putting in a bunch of nature, which is pretty much everything that I love. I'm gonna stick a little path over here to the giant isopod because I like him. I feel like those have a lot of personality. So I went ahead and I stuck him next to the pond because you know, he's in a bucket basically. That was the reason and his bucket matched my island but he's also pretty cool and i like him he has a lot of personality um he is he's just fun so we're gonna add like just the finishing trees and we're just about done i'm gonna time travel because this is not um the i need some things to grow in i need to stun some trees all of those things and we're done Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I really do love this build, so hopefully you guys like it. I know you can be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me. And if you're still here, be sure to like and subscribe and all of those things that I never say to do. Have an amazing day. I'll see you next time. Bye.